So, all right. Um, this video is going to be about uh, inverse head and shoulders pattern, or um, it's also sometimes referred to as uh, Kilroy bottom. So, one of the most important things about uh, chart patterns is that uh, as a beginner people might think that they are able to spot the right pattern but uh, there's quite a bit which goes into um, reading a pattern properly and detecting that when um, a pattern is properly built so um, I'm going to use uh, AMAT applied materials uh, stock listed on NASDAQ um, to to demonstrate because because this one shows um, um, almost an ideal inverse head and shoulders uh, formation. So you can see uh, the stock was in uptrend after it broke out in 2020, you know, then this rounding off and, you know, kind of failure to make new highs. And then um, it started coming down. And uh, so right with the market slightly later, uh, markets started to turn down in November 2021, uh, but the stock turned down in January uh, 2022. So it was down uh, roughly 57% from top. Um, so and then it it built this nice um, head and shoulders uh, inverse head and shoulders pattern. So what happened was uh, the stock. Um, the distribution was started you see how the heavy red volume um, cluster of distribution days so it came down try to rally back second leg down try to rally back so this was the third leg down and you know kind of and th th this is where the formation of the pattern started but at this time you are only seeing it this right so um, so it comes down um, or rather heavy volume and then then starts to rally and then it meets this uh, stone wall of supply here so at uh, 112 roughly so and th then so this this first decline um, in this kind of formation is supposed to be on higher volume so you can still see you know on the left hand side of the head you can still see big red um, down days so the uh, most of the selling is supposed to take place um, in the formation of left um, shoulder uh, or maximum up to the head so you don't want to see too much volume uh, on the right hand side on the right shoulder so it comes down tries to go up meets this um, supply line and then it drops even further so it the head is supposed to be lower than the uh, both of the shoulders um, so first time when it hit that uh, resistance or supply line it it dropped 26 percent and then second time when it got up it came down um, 36 percent so there are no hard or fast rules um, like uh, how much it should really come back all you want to see is this uh, um, theoretically horizontal but this can be um, slightly tilted to the right or to the left but those formations are equally uh, valid but um, in most of the cases this line would be horizontal so I'll show you the examples of uh, of similar formation with the slanted neckline so the supply line is called neckline or fence line so let's look at uh, the volume characteristics of this pattern which are uh, the most important so you may see some you know um, price formation but if the volume does not conform to the pattern exactly then um, its implications are not to be trusted so so heavy volume on the left hand side and then cholesterol of distribution days uh, um, on the head and this is where the whole picture starts to change right so a big volume this is more like a one day reversal uh, just opposite of what would happen on a top when stock tops so this is where the stock bottoms so a big up day and then none of these um, other candles 
comes back to undercut it um, then it goes all the way up meets the supply line drops back um, the important part to note is the volume on the right hand side of the shoulder should be quiet it should um, you know drop to an extremely low level um, so you can see um, all this time the stock is not trading even 50 percent of the daily volume the volume is completely drawing up so and uh, when this pattern is completed um, one of the other features is if there's a uh, one shoulder on the left and then it's uh, supposed to be a um, one shoulder on the right and if it's a multiple head and shoulders but sometimes you may see two shoulders then a head and then two shoulders or it may be even more three so um, contrary to the um, to the general assumption that a uh, longer the pace is and the more powerful the breakout would be um, that is not true for uh, uh, this kind of pattern um, uh, this uh, clean cut formation with the one shoulder on the left and one shoulder on the right uh, is more powerful than the multiple head and shoulders pattern um, and these patterns have a tendency to symmetry so if you're seeing two shoulders on the left uh, you can almost count on this pattern to develop the exact symmetry on the right hand side it, it will have two or if you have three on the left it will develop three and this length of time and the number of days or weeks on the left hand side of the pattern uh, is uh, going to be roughly equal to on the on the right hand side as well so if this was you know uh, it, it took this much time on the left and if it only tried to you see it tried to break out premature so what went wrong um, number one the volume did not rise and number two you know the, the pattern you can if you are only looking at this you can't expect uh, I wouldn't expect this breakout to work because you see the length um, of the pattern on the left hand side so um, I wouldn't want to enter there I would want to wait and that's that's what exactly happened so it, it needed to do um, more work and spend more time on the right hand side um, another thing is um, ideally you want uh, your left shoulder head and right shoulder uh, the right shoulder um, should not you know undercut the left shoulder so occasionally it may but I, I would rather you know uh, move on to a different chart where that did not happen so and uh, even better situation is like in this case so your left shoulder is um, the drop on left shoulder was roughly 26% um, as I previously measured and but on the right hand shoulder it only came down 60 16% uh, so this is a better situation here um, even if this did not happen it, this formation would be even stronger um, because of the uh, refusal of prices to come down so um, this would have been just 10 percent so even still it's a, it's a strong formation so and uh, the entry point the trade um, we will be placing is uh, when this uh, neckline or fence line is decisively broken and a higher volume um, must attend so whenever a breakout to the upside happens so it must be attended by a higher volume at least 50 percent more than the daily volume it can be 100 200 700 you know even um 5000 percent so more the better so and uh, these kind of patterns um, it, it's preferred and it's a, it's even better if uh, the breakout happens uh, with a gap so if the stock gaps up and leaves the price range around this neckline completely untouched so then we can trade off from that um, so yeah this is almost uh, you know uh, a perfect formation so and um, uh, another part about these patterns is that the throwback or the pullback to the neckline is um, is uh, more common so you know, the prices will break out and within 3 to 15 days they may drop all the way up to the 
uh, neckline and sometimes even undercut it by three to five percent uh, that's completely normal um, but it, it, it should not you know drop all the way back if it come the cloth is um, below this uh, neckline and then you know um, starts drifting off even on lower volume um, the trade must be closed um, these patterns are um, highly reliable these formations uh, seldom fail but um, any as it applies to anything about the markets um, in any of the cases there's always uh, you know um, exceptions so so yeah uh, watch out for that um, should the stock reverse and you know start drifting lower uh, even if you know um, this pattern looks busted if it comes down and you know kind of even undercuts the right shoulder um, shorting the stock is still not recommended because uh, whenever this kind of formation appears um, it still stands as a warning sign that the final reversal is uh, at hand so another point i would like to make about these kind of formations is that uh, um, because the these are uh, formed at the bottom most of the time you know after exten extensive decline so when uh, when the prices break out uh, from these kind of patterns um, they they might test your patience so they will take time before they get going because the stock is not in an uptrend so this is just the beginning um, of an uptrend um, so for the trading purposes so um, you enter when this neckline is broken on a decisively um, higher volume and the measuring implications are so you can measure this distance um, from the neckline all the way to the top of the head so 36 percent so so this is the minimum um, expected move so amid breaks and roughly so this is also congestion area roughly at um, 112 so you are expecting almost a 40 point move so that would be some trade um, let's move on to some other um, good examples so here's another um, formation um, in aptb so you see um, higher volume on the left side you know kind of um, moderate volume at the head and then so there are a few you know um, cuts like there are bigger um, red down days so but there's, there's, there's a clear you know um, drying up of the volume so this pattern is um, um, can also be considered as a broadening bottom um, another pattern would be so yeah this is uh, another one this is a kind of I would call it a ragged killer oil bottom the formation is not as neat or perfect but looks like it's, it's working out just fine so you see um, that's your neckline and 28% um, you're expecting yeah the stock to move it's already moved more than 14% in your direction so another one um, in GNTX so comes down not a lot of selling even on the left shoulder the volumes kind of drying up comes to the head earnings jumps on volume and this this rounding type of uh, price action is even better so you see how it breaks up on heavy volume and there are four or five days of big volume days which is a good sign so the expected move would be um, roughly 21 percent which coincides uh, exactly with the next resistance area so that's another um, so this is another one on Alex so just to just try to imprint these patterns properly in your mind and uh, um, and learn to look at the volume characteristics and know for sure that uh, that a proper reversal has occurred and once you take the trade um, have the confidence to sit down 
and hold the stock at least uh, up to the uh, minimum visit move um, so that's uh, that's kind of all about uh, Kilroy bottle so inverse uh, head and shoulder pattern